Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use the Intate version of FSR4 Upscaler in Resident Evil 4 Remake running on Steam Deck that comes with Linux based SteamOS. We'll also show you how to combine it with LSFG VK. Using LSFG VK is completely optional. Personally I don't recommend it as it will increase the game's latency, will also produce some noticeable graphical artifacts. You need to own a paid application called Lossless Scaling in order to use LSFG VK on Steam Deck. Lossless scaling sells for around 7 US dollars on Steam Store. In order to enable FSR 4, I'll be using multiple free mods like RE Framework, PureDAS Upscaler Base Plugin, and OptiScaler. We'll use RE Framework to load PureDAS Upscaler Base Plugin into the game. Upscaler Base Plugin supports two upscalers, TLSS and XCSS. On Steam Deck, we can only use XCSS Upscaler. Then I'll be using OptiScaler mod to replace XCSS with FSR 4. Unfortunately, Upscaler based plugin is not perfect in this game. It upscales the game's HUD elements as well, makes the game's HUD elements to flicker. The flickering effect becomes more aggressive at the lower quality presets of the upscaler. This is why I don't recommend using balance and performance presets of FSR4. Just stick with the quality preset of FSR4. Even the in-game menu text will look a bit blurry. The latest preview 4 version 0.9 build of OptiScaler mod has some issues with Linux. Mod menu does not pop up, so I'll be using an older build. Version 0.9 Preview 3 20250911. It's available on the Discord server. We'll give the link to it in the description of the video. And just click on the dot seventy link here. Now I'll be downloading PureDAX Subscaler Base plugin from Nexus Mods website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Files. This is very important. Do not download the latest version of Upscaler Base plugin. You need to download an older version, this one, 1.1.2. Click on manual download, then click on slow download, the download will start. You need to use a specific build of RE framework for Resident Evil 4. I have uploaded it to my Google Drive, we will give the direct download link in the description of the video. This link, just click on the download icon here, download will start, this is the archive file that we need. FSR SDK was leaked a couple of months ago. It included files corresponding to the Intate version of FSR 4. These files could be used to compile an FSR 4 TLL. Big thanks to Reddit user. Athlete dependent 9 to 6 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Just click on the go file link here. From this page you need to download AMD Fidelity FX Subscaler TX12.tll file. Click on download. Next to it the download will start. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Click on downloads. Here you will find all of the files that you just downloaded. I have transferred them to another directory. It does not matter. First I will install RE framework. Just open RE4. REF.zip file. Double click. This archive window will pop up. Open RE4.zip file. Double click. This window will pop up. Just need to extract this TLL file. De-input it. Drag and drop it outside of this archive window. Like this. There is the file. Select it, right click, cut, select Resident Evil 4 in your Steam library, right click manage, click on browse local files. This will open the games install directory, paste the file here, we are done. Now I will install upscaler base plugin, just open its archive file, need to extract this dll file, pdpuff plugin, drag and drop it outside of this archive window like this, there is the file. Select it, right click, cut. Just paste it in the games install directory and we are done. Right here. And there it is. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open the mods archive file, double click. Click on extract, extract again. Wait for the extraction process to complete. We are done, finish. Close the archive window. Open the extracted folder, there it is. Just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll mod loader file. Now just open optiscaler.ini file. I'll be disabling dxgi spoofing and overlay menu. If you don't disable, or rather, I should say, if you don't set overlay menu to false, you won't be able to open optiscaler menu and RE framework menu simultaneously. Scroll down until you find menu section. There it is. And just set overlay menu to false. Scroll down again. 
until you find spoofing section yeah there it is under this section look for a line name dxti and just set it to false dxti spoofing enables nvidia gpu spoofing but i'll be using xcs subscalar to activate optiscalar mod so it's not required click on save close now just select the highlighted files dxti.tll amd fidelity fi subscalar dx12.tll libxcss.tll xcss super resolution file now come nice mod not required frame generation file not required fake and vpi not required dx11 version of xcss super resolution not required xcss frame generation won't work optiscalar.ini amd fidelity fx dx12.tll file that's it right click copy need to paste these files in the games install directory right here paste five items now i'll install the in date version of fsr4 upscaler copy its amd fidelity fx upscaler tx12.tll file that you download it from reddit paste it in the games install directory replace the existing file right here overwrite we are done don't need to add any launch argument to the game in order to activate optiscalar mod completely blank compatibility i am using the latest version of g proton 10-20 you can download the latest version of g proton from proton or qt app for absolutely free connect it my fly dg vader 4 pro controller to steam deck via bluetooth mode x input controller i have the lcd variant of steam deck display supports up to 60 hertz refresh rate at startup re framework menu will get initialized there it is the toggle key for both re framework and optiscalar menu is insert so i'll change the toggle key for re framework menu from insert to delete just expand the configuration section click on menu key press delete key on your keyboard if you don't have a keyboard you can map delete and insert keys to any of steam deck's back grip buttons temporal upscaler section yet yeah, present expand it make sure it's enabled sharpness setting uncheck it if you want to increase or decrease the image sharpness just use optiscalar mod upscaler it's set to xcss quality level balance i'll just change the quality level to quality debug options using the default options don't change them we are done here close the menu by pressing the delete key the temporal upscaler causes the in game menu text to look a bit blurry unfortunately there is no fix for this see in game settings preset i am using prioritize performance display mode borderless 800p resolution we sync off in game fsr2 upscaler you need to disable it otherwise the image quality will look very blurry fsr1 upscaler disable it as well image quality 100% rendering mode set it to normal do not set it to interlace see text is barely readable now anti aliasing set to ta you need to disable it of rest of the settings these are the settings that come with the prioritize graphic preset i'll just highlight the relevant settings you need to disable post processing effects like bloom screen space reflections motion blur there it is on disable it lens flare off lens distortion of depth of field of that's it was the game loads up just press the insert keyboard key to open optiscalar menu yeah i cannot move the mouse pointer properly in order to fix this issue just close optiscalar menu open re framework menu first now open optiscalar menu yeah pointer is working properly i'll increase the menu size click on the drop down bar next to menu you as scale and select 1.0 as the value upscaler selected xcss version 2.0.2 i'll just 
Switch to the Intate version of FSR for Upscaler. Click on the drop down bar next to Change Upscaler and select FSR 3.x as the option. Click on Change Upscaler again. When you got closed, press the Insert key. Upscaler selected. Here yeah, it's FSR 4.0.2 Intate version of FSR 4. Input XCSS. DXGS spoofing off. Auto Explorer setting on. If you want to adjust the image sharpness, and just check the setting override under sharpness section and move the slider accordingly and stick with the default value 0.300 model set to default it automatically selected model 1 for me which corresponds to the upscaler's quality preset that's fine FSR 4 upscaler makes the yellow color of a flame look a bit greenish in this game you can fix this issue by checking the setting non-linear sRGB input I'll also enable OptiScaler's performance overlay expand FPS overlay section. Check the setting FPS overlay enable. Position top right. Full plus graph. Scale 1.3. Base resolution 853 by 533 pixels. Upscale to 800p resolution. Save INI close. Close RE Frameworks menu. Okay. Here we are getting around 35 FPS and oh my god, check out the image quality. It's looking so sharp, so clean. This is just amazing. No shimmering is produced around the tree branches in the background. But I am observing some ghosting around the cross here. See, and observe the HUD element here. Minor flickering is going on. Rather, I should say jittering. Completely stationary. Still, I am noticing some jitter around the HUD element. So, this is the limitation of Pyoda's Upscaler based plugin. Okay, now I'll engage in combat. Upscaler cost, it's not specified here. No value is shown for it. Oh my god. Blasted dead guy's head. I'll just run around the bonfire demanding sequence good to see FPS always stays above 30 30 to 35 so you can use LSFG in this game if you want but going from 30 to 60 FPS is not an ideal scenario when using frame generation especially LSFG latency will be a problem this is the real world input delay without frame generation This guy grabbed me. I was about to say the wall textures looking so sharp. See the bricks, the planks. I had no idea these planks were so detailed. Okay, now I'll show you how to use LSFG VK. Process is very simple. I'll use LSFG VK's Decky plugin. Exit the game. You just need to add a launch argument to the game. Click on the settings cog below the game's banner. Click on properties. General. Under launch options, add this line of text. Tilde key. Forward slash. LSFG. Space. Percentage. Command. Percentage. Now I'll show you LSFG settings, LSFG VK setting. Open its plugin. Multiply mode set to two times. LSFG will try to double the FPS. Flow scale maxed out. Want the best possible image quality. Least graphical artifacts. Base FPS cap. Apply a 30 FPS cap. My display supports up to 60 Hz refresh rate. FPS after frame generation should be close to 60. Present mode first in first out vSync enabled using the performance mode of LSFG VK as it's lighter on the GPU rest of the settings disabled LCD variant of Steam Deck does not support HDR not using any of the workarounds launch the game using the same game settings jumped into the game OptiScaler performance overlay showing us the base FPS value 30 FPS with LSFG on 60 LSFG it's trying to double the FPS. Yeah, I can observe the add amount of smoothness. No way this is 30 FPS. Unfortunately, I'm also observing some graphical artifacts. 
Just observe Leon's gun where he ugly ghosting is produced around it during fast visual motion. Spinning the camera, here yeah, ghosting is produced around Leon's back upon Leon's head. And this is why it's a bit difficult to recommend I'm using LSFG in this game on Steam Deck. Increases the latency, also produces some noticeable graphical artifacts. But 10 by 10 when it comes to improving the game's performance amazing level of smoothness with LSFG on oh my god almost got caught there so it's up to you if you want to use LSFG or not that's it with the video guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day